What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, this is actually post-commentary, uh, because I was sick for like a week, and I wasn't able to uh, use my voice, so instead, I spent a lot of time at home uh, just playing Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus without commentary. It allowed me to focus a little bit on the game. Nod Leaf, look at that. This is what's going to win me the game here. <laughs> I'm a Zazel. My goal is to uh, to beat Delirium, so uh, yeah, uh, wish me luck with that. I have Nod Leaf, so I'll, hopefully I get some familiars or something to uh, go ahead and uh, utilize the fact that I can just be a statue who cannot be damaged at all. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so we're here in the basement. Now keep in mind, this is a total post-commentary, as will probably be for the next few episodes. Uh, simply because I was I was like very sick. I don't know what happened, but I was very very sick. I Couldn't speak very well. I missed several days of videos on YouTube and uh, Now, you know, I'm I'm 90 95 percent better. My voice is still a little grainy a little a little rough But we'll be fine. And so yeah, this is post commentary. I'm gonna be here with you apparently for the next hour <laughs> Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll take some breaks in between. I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit draining doing post-commentary because of the fact that, uh, I don't get to play anything. I just have to watch myself playing a game that I've already played, which is, uh, which, man, is tough. I don't know how you guys do it every day. <laughs> but no, I've already done this, so, I mean, I kind of know what to expect. I don't really remember my strategies that well. I mean, I've waited several days before recording the commentary because of the fact that I had to, uh, you know, wait for my voice to get better. But I'll tell you, um, my key strategy here is just to, uh, I mean, it's weird because I'm speaking from a guy who's already played this before, and sometimes I, I do things that I don't, like, when I look at it again, I wouldn't normally do. You know, I picked that up because why not? What else do I have to lose? I don't have anything to lose. I don't have any items. I I, I, I've kind of gotten to the mentality of taking pills, but this time I guess I didn't take a pill. That's fine. Um, this is actually recorded after the booster pack came out. There were some new booster pack, um, items. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, my voice is not perfect. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and, uh, and record. <coughs> there are some new booster pack items that have been released. Uh, both, uh, items and cards. A lot of, uh, booster pack and, and trinkets. Not just trinkets, but, but cards... Trinkets, all that stuff. So, I mean, we're still, you know, pretty straightforward. Me being a Zazel at this point and just damaging him as quickly as possible. Um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you a little spoiler alert. The non leaf comes in handy later, for sure. So yeah, um, let's just keep going here. This is going pretty well. All right, pageant boy, got some coins. Could be used at the store. If I want to, uh, I think I do take this. I think I'm just like, yeah, I, I look it up at this point. So basically what I'm doing at this point, which is what I do when I do live videos, is I just check it. This is Maw of the Void. I'm checking to see if it gives me any black hearts. But it's a damage up. Uh, you, you know, it, it, after firing tears for three seconds, you get a little, uh, a little, uh, a little thing. I, I, don't, I don't think I do take it. Never mind. I don't take it. Never mind. It's another run, maybe, that I take it. I don't know. I'm kind of on uh, time crutch. I'm going to go to the store because I know I'm, like, I'm hoping so much. So I'm, like, I have the Nod Leaf. Any familiars I have need to be big, but I don't want to recycle the items. So let's just go ahead and blow this guy up and hope for coins. Do I get them? I do. I remember this. I was so thankful. My best friend's rule. So, uh, yeah, there's, there are some new uh, Afterbirth... Uh, you know Booster pack items they pledge to release some booster packs periodically as we go through this And the first one has already been released there are I don't think there are any new achievements for the booster packs Thank goodness because uh, you know, I need to do those and right now. I'm kind of realizing uh I'm like, uh, I took some damage Not great That's okay we're five minutes into this. About a tenth, tenth of the way done. <laughs> I'll tell you, I much prefer to do commentary live. I really do. 
And of course, well, it depends. Um, <clears throat> I'm sick, by the way. I'm still sick. I've been sick for a week. I don't know what I got. A couple weekends ago, I went to uh, to three birthday dinners with a wide variety of people at each one. One of them was carrying the plague, and now I have the plague. <laughs> so uh, this is how it goes. I mean, you can't complain too much. We're humans. We're susceptible to things like the plague. Um. So yeah, I don't want. I don't want the dice. I mean, even though like I, I never. I'm so reluctant to re-roll. Like lately, especially when I'm trying to get to delirium. I just want to do it, get it over with. I don't want to re-roll all the time, you know. I just, I'd rather restart than re-roll. Is what it, is what my mentality is lately. Do I do this? I think, I think I do. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, give me, give me. Nice. I kind of want to. I like. I just, I'm watching this right now, and all I want to do is play. I still have some, uh, some several achievements left. But we'll see what happens. All right. Still though, like I don't think this room was necessarily worth it, but we're still here. We're still trying. Ta-da! Got a key. So yeah, I have my my iPad open right now, and I'm looking at the new cards, the new trinkets. There's three new trinkets, three new cards, at least three new cards, and um, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine new items. Why nine? Why do they choose nine, not ten? I don't get it either. I don't know if I get anything this episode, uh, but I've gotten a few items just kind of periodically throughout this. There's one that I haven't gotten that I really want, which is called the Sprinkler. Basically, the Sprinkler, when used, spawns a sprinkler that rotates in a circle, spraying tears in all directions. Sounds awesome if you have like something like Azazel has, right? Of course, it is a short range. We'll see how it goes in the future. Um. Okay, good. Good job. Got it. The Fool. Now, in my mind, what I'm thinking thinking is uh, I'm going to use the Fool when, uh, you know, I, need, I, I, I beat Mom. And then I go uh, to do the boss rush mode. I can grab an item and just warp out of there. That's my idea. That's the reason why I'm holding on to the Fool. I don't know if I hold on to it the whole time. I hope I do. Like I said, sometimes when I go back and watch these, I catch mistakes. I got hurt. I catch mistakes. Why no double room? I don't know. I catch mistakes sometimes that I make. And uh, I kind of regret them sometimes. It's, that's okay, though. I see four of those guys blow them all up. Nice configuration. I don't know if Penny Tears if Penny Tears does anything for me for this, but I uh, I'm glad to have gotten those two nickels. Nice. Got a couple of hearts there. Watch out for these guys for sure. I mean, I'm I'm looking at this. I'm not quite sure what to say. Like, I don't have anything to com commentate about my gameplay. I think I'm playing just fine. Uh, I have Nod Leaf. I haven't really used it at all yet. Haven't felt the need to. Nod Leaf is for when you're in trouble, in my opinion, because otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of time. Just, just a lot of time. <laughs> you're going to be spending a lot of. I mean, I can just end it at that. You're going to be spending a lot of time. So, uh, I do plan on completing all the achievements for Binding of Isaac After Birth Plus. I know that this series is not as viewed as some of my pre as some of my previous series. But I started it, so I might as well finish it. Definitely go check that out, please. What is in here? I might grab the Bible for speed. I do, yes. Okay. I remembered it correctly. Uh, you'll have to suffer through post-commentary for this in the next couple of videos, simply because I was sick. 
and I wanted something to do with my time. Like I had, I had to spend my time some way. So Binding of Isaac Atropus Plus. I'd rather do a post commentary on this game than any other game because this game takes a lot of concentration. Uh, but you know, Zelda, etc. You know, I, I don't want to do post commentary because I gotta focus. I mean, I mean, because I don't have to focus as much as this game. This game, I'm kind of in like the really, really tough parts where I genuinely feel like I have to focus, and so. I was happy in a way to be able to play this game without commentating live because I was able to just focus on my strategy. A lot of coins right there. That's good. I have uh, infinite bombs right now. Might as well start using them. Nice. I have enough for an item in the store. But, uh, you know, I, I, I've, got, I've gotten the store. I don't think I've gotten the treasure room, though. So let's do that. Let's go find that. And again, if uh, you find my voice annoying right now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ill. What can, what, what can I say? But go check out Zelda. I beat it. I beat Zelda if you want to see it. Zelda Breath of the Wild. My favorite Zelda game, most likely. The weird thing is, is going silent on this is that I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here watching, so. Silence is an option. I say that a lot in Telltale games. Alright, I'll take this guy. This guy actually helps me. A little, little hush. So let's do it. I do wonder if when I... Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a little spoiler. I do eventually use an odd leaf. I wonder if I should fast forward those parts because they're pretty tedious. <laughs> I'll just tell you that they're pretty tedious, or maybe I'll just skip them. I don't know. I mean, you're gonna know. Then I'm gonna be like, "Do you need to see that?" Like, that's the question that I always have when making videos. Do you guys need to see the actual like? I mean, or can you just use your imagination a little bit and just assume that yeah, since I'm not doing anything except just sitting here and the familiars are shooting them, that yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice damage up. That is. That is so wanted. This guy, I do take because it's even, uh, I see that it's an auto turret. I'm like, yeah, that's going to help me for sure. For sure. In fact, this guy comes comes in handy, like way down the road way down the road a little bit because he is very, very good at what he does. So here we go. Dank Depths. Um... What happens here? Yeah, it's destroy. Nice, good job, good job, Zach. Way to destroy. You're doing what you should do. I really just want to be playing this game right now. I don't, I don't want to be watching myself playing a game that I've already played. That's the hard part about post commentary, honestly, is because that's why I don't do it. Is because it's just like my patience is like I'm going, up, I'm driving myself up the wall right now. I'm just like, come on, man. This is this is an XL stage too, isn't it? I don't remember, uh, but it it seems like it is. It probably announced it, but the Bible is definitely going to help me kind of speed things along. Nice. Wow, that was that that was luck right there. Getting two soul hearts suddenly is great. Boom! I don't know why I go this way. Whatevs. I'm surprised I, I didn't go check out that card because I, I would think... Okay, maybe I go back. Okay, a waste of time. But what if it was the higher offense, you know? I could have really utilized it. All right. I mean, this kind of thing makes me, makes me wish that I did like the Binding of Isaac with no commentary. Oh man, my voice, my voice. I am rec like the funny thing is I I'm recording this post commentary after like I recorded the ending of Zelda. And my voice was pretty much shot by then. But hopefully you guys forgive me a little bit. 
You you do not you you would have not wanted me to do live commentary with this though because my voice was totally messed up. It was way worse than it is now. Hopefully my voice gets better within the next few days. There we go. My wife Ashley is cooking a cake for her friend's birthday. And it's beeping. I need, I need to tell her. I need to go let her know. Ashley! She heard me. It's beeping. I let her know. What? I don't even know. Okay. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, what to say? I I'm just fighting these guys. Is that a big deal? I feel like my imagination imagination lights up a little bit more when I'm doing live commentary, more so than uh, more so than post commentary. Because like I've already seen this. I'm confident I'm gonna make it through because I I know because I've watched this. I've experienced this on my own. What? Just am. Ashley's yelling at me. I don't know why. I didn't do anything wrong. She just yells at me. Two two soul hearts. Good job. The thing is, I don't really remember this. You know, like I, I don't really remember every every room, everything that I do. So, I do. This is a new item. This is a mystery gift. Uh, I, I take some time and and look it up right now, but I can tell you what it does because I'm 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 uh, I, I I have this pulled up in front of me. The uh, mystery gift is a new item uh, for the Afterburst uh, booster pack. This is uh, it's called it, it, mystery gift. It's a one-time use item that spawns a random item from the current room's item pool, but as you just see right there, has a chance to spawn the poop. So. I spawned the poop. I'm like, no way do I want that. Oh well. Based on a Steam Workshop mod created by Mills. So that's interesting. They're, they're utilizing the uh, Steam Workshop mods to do these booster packs. So that's really cool. I wonder if I should try to like design something and see if it gets used. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> One of the items that, that they have that I've not picked up yet is called Fast Bombs. It gives you seven bombs, but also allows you to rapidly place the bombs on the ground. But that was not based on a Steam Workshop thing, apparently. That was just added as part of the booster pack. This is a fun room. If only I had health, I could use that rainbow poop. Got hit. I wasn't expecting it, but I did get hit. Getting hit doesn't really bother me until like the later stages because I feel like I could. I mean, at this point in my mind, I'm, th I'm thinking to myself that you know I can always get more soul hearts, more stuff like that. So not a big deal. It's war. What is he good for? Man, he hit me. I can't believe he hit me. Got my little ball of meat to be um, almost a man. Not quite. His mom. Just use the Bible. Get it over with. Grab this. Now I have the fool. So I tried to figure out what, which item to get. I, I think I take the nails because... Uh, but I, I think I, I think the nails has knockback, which actually... I, I'm looking it up right now. Like, while I'm playing, I'm looking it up. Like, right now, I'm not looking it up. I'm using my memory right now. I'm just talking to you guys from my own brain at the moment but the nails have a knockback property that uh gets uh, transferred over to brimstone which is cool uh and uh, and i'm thinking i'm thinking in my head that it's cool right but i i didn't really take into account that i have a short range brimstone 
So if I want to do a lot of damage at once, I, d I want them to stay within my brimstone beam. I don't want them knocked back a whole bunch. So I think it was a, l a little bit of a mistake to get this item, but I don't know. Just my, my view right now as a post-game commentator. But I think that, uh, I, I don't think I should have picked this up necessarily. I don't know what I would have picked up, but I used this to get out of there. The fool. The fool. So, so now we're just, uh, we're just kind of, kind of going on our way. To try. I should have blown up, I mean, I have 17 bombs. I should have blown up those fires. I do, I do, okay, yeah. Like I said, this is, this is like one of those things that just kind of, Sticks with me. I get like three hearts from this, so it was a real learning, a learning experience at the moment. All right, but at the time, I, I, I just, I, I didn't know if I should or not. But I. All right. Anyway, we're gonna be out of here. The Bible's still gonna be useful for another uh, duration, another period of time. So, yeah, easy, right? My turret guy shoots him. It's no big deal. The cool thing about Azazel, like, okay, so there's there's actually an achievement to beat Lamb. I don't know how, but to beat Lamb in 20 minutes or less. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use Azazel to do it. I hope I can. I don't know if I can though. Like that's the thing. Like, I just don't know. Like, like can I do it? I don't know. I gotta like really try to power through, through it. Azazel makes sense because he's really powerful, at least at first. But at the end of 20 minutes, can I make it all the way to the lamb? I, I honestly, God, don't know. The Bible almost seems necessary. I, I know I'll do it eventually. Just how? I'm trying I'm trying to wrap my head around it right now. I don't know how. Ouch. I ran right into that. These girls are easy to deal with. Balls of steel, baby! Balls of steel. Glad I had that before. And the boss fight is around the corner here. We're about halfway done with this video. Like I said, a large portion of this, I'm not gonna lie, is uh, fighting the bosses with the knob leaf. I might just edit that part out uh, just to make it go faster for you guys. And you can you you, you know kind of use your imagination on how that goes. These rooms are getting annoying to me. Like I'm trying to find these guys. I can't even find this guy popping out. But there he is. He hits me. Sure. There he is again. I miss him. It's like oh my gosh, you're kidding me, right? There he is. Finally showed up. Beat him. Let's fight the boss. This boss, these, I, like, I think the spider bosses are so easy. I don't know what it is about them. The magic gate ball. I, I don't even go. Do I even go in here? I should. I do. I don't take anything because I don't, I don't know what it is. Curse of the blind again. Scarred womb too. I know. Like, I don't want to get hit so often, but it does happen. Shredded those eyeballs right there.
Oh wow, that, that guy died. Oh, I guess he died from the turret. I mean, still part of the issue here is that I want to conserve my voice a, l a little bit for live commentary this week, but uh, my voice is like really kind of on the ropes right now. Steam sale, you better believe it. We'll be good for Hush. I, I picked it up kind of sarcastically thinking to myself, this is not going to be worth it, but when it comes time for Hush... Uh, that steam shell actually does help. And yeah, this this thing's easy to take care of right now as well. Not a big deal at all. There we go. Bible. Quickly deal with. Let's check out the devil room. Uh, that is just like no. That's like a no for me. I look it up though. Just so you guys also know what it is. But I can tell you right now. I have it pulled up in front of me. Uh, this is called duality. Anytime a devil or angel room door opens after a boss. The other one will also spawn. So, kind of cool, but, uh, you know, I don't really need it. So, I just kind of skip on. It costs three hearts for me, too, which is not good. I'm going to go fight Hush. Knowing that I might heavily rely on uh, the fact I have Nod Leaf here. Keep that in mind. Uh, it's really, I, I don't know, it's tough. I don't know I don't know what to do exactly. Jera Abundance, if I want to duplicate anything I can. Not sure I do, though, at this point. I don't have any, like, algas or anything. Or, you know, any sort of real protection. But anyway. Get, get rid of any curse. Why not? It's only seven to do so. Grab a soul heart. I don't grab the Pokemon Go. I don't think I need it. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. The Book of Shadows is, is great. Doesn't last too long, but it's going to be great. Helping out the Void, of course. Get everything upgraded a little bit with the Halo. Excellent. Uh, I can't believe I don't look at the card. I must have remembered it. So yeah, I just shoot him a little bit. I use the algae's, uh, or whatever it is, the Book of Shadows. Just have a temporary little shield. I think he might damage me a little bit, but I eventually, I go, yeah, so I go into this mode, right? I get hit a couple times, I'm like, no, I can't, I can't get hit so often. I, I have to become a statue via the non leaf. And so, this is where I think I'm going to spare you guys some of the uh, some of the real difficulty here. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer this or not, but I'm going to go ahead and edit it out a little bit because you can imagine what happens as my turret, and pretty much only my turret, a little sometimes a little hushy, hits hush over and over. You can imagine how long it takes, right? I don't really do anything, I just stand here and fight him, so... You can imagine this. I'm going to proceed onwards. I'm going to edit it out. I'm going to fast forward. You'll see. Let me know if this is okay in the comments below. All right. We're about to beat Delirium here. Uh, again, it's just me being a statue with an odd leaf. And uh, yeah, got him. Got him. So, not a big deal. Uh, let's just leave. <laughs> Go. We're going to go into the void now, and uh, hopefully in the void we're going to fight Delirium. I mean, the thing is, I already know the ending of this, but uh, we got to go up. My whole goal is to not take, a lot, uh, not take significant damage. Um, and that means that some of the rooms in, in the void here, uh, I will be facing... Um, the enemies with the non-leaf and, and the reason I'll be doing that uh, it are times in which I don't have the book of shadows ready to, ready to roll whatever those times may be here I tried to plant some bombs and I realized quickly that uh, you can't blow those things up if they're uh, if you play them on the uh, yeah I, I took my book of shadows it's the book of shadows right you, you can't play anyway 
Can't blow those things up sometimes. Jera, abundance, yes. Give me abundance. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save this for when I have a bunch of soul hearts. I'm thinking thinking in my head that if I if I uh, have a bunch of soul hearts, then it'll be fine. I can use abundance. Replicate them. Should not be a huge deal. We got like almost 20 minutes or maybe less left of this episode. I guess the rest of this takes place in the void. We'll see what happens. I think at this point I want to just blow up a bunch of these things. Hope I get black hearts. There, there's so many skulls. I have some cards here, obviously. It would be best for me to leave. Justice. I don't know why I haven't left. Instead, I'm actually fighting these things, which is a little... Oh, I, I can't believe I hit that. Wow. Again, more skulls. But I'm able to kind of quickly re uh, reset some of the stuff. Nice. Uh, now, I I'm thinking to myself maybe two would be good to replicate. He's dead quick. Nice. Speed and damage up. Very good. Very good. The Frail! Again, this is going to be one of those ones that's probably over very quickly. I got hit a little bit. That's okay. Compost. I, I, th I think I take the time to look this up. Basically, and again, I have this in front of me. The compost is... Uh, I don't know what it is. Let me look. I, I don't have it directly in front of me. I have it like kind of off to the side. So I'm... <laughs> All right, here it is, the iPad, I got it, don't worry. Uh, the compost here. When you use compost, doubles up the current number of blue flies and spiders you have, but it also destroys every consumable on the ground in the current room. So I'm like, nah. I don't, I don't know if it means this or not, but I don't want to take any risks. Oh, I got hit again. This is making me nervous, because I'm like, gosh darn it, I have the Nod Leaf and I'm so low on health. I even say the GD, gosh darn it, right there. Paralysis. I'm just trying to take it easy, you know? I'm trying to make sure I don't lose too much health. Very... Oh, I, I got hit again. I can't... Did I get hit? Or did I actually... I don't even know. Maybe I got hit. All right, watch out for that guy. Yeah, these guys are all over the place. I'm just trying to like figure out how to attack them without getting hurt because I, I don't want to get hurt. I want them hurt. I don't want me hurt. I know there's one more because that guy was blocking him. But goodness gracious here. Got my auto turret. I have uh, basically just a few hits left in me. And that's what worries me about this. Uh, but I also have the protection. Like every time, uh, you know, something seems a little dire, I go ahead and uh, pop the Book of Shadows. And just start using it, you know, because I want that protection. I don't have very many hearts left. I'm, I'm keenly aware of that. 
that I don't have that many hearts left, and it does worry me. Take care of him just fine. Got him just fine as well. We have the blue baby, so I go ahead and use it, and uh, I hope that this is good. I might go into uh, nod leaf mode in just a second. I, th I think I go ahead and do it. I figured to say to myself that I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Nod leaf mode is where it's at, and I just kind of wait for my auto turret and other things to just destroy him. It shouldn't take too long, uh, otherwise I would edit it out. I think, honestly, like. This happens again in, in the future, and I do decide to edit it out some, but I got it. Fear shot, right? Is it fear? No, 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 sorry. Mom's eye. I'm in the back of your head. Great. I want that for some reason, because why not? Oh, I, I dearly wish I had it here. I decided to go statue and just wait for these guys to clear them out because I dearly wish I had the Book of Shadows charged up for this room, but I didn't. So I just wait. That's gonna hit him, right? Gone. My health is so low. I am I, I am honestly very, very worried at this point. I am like so worried that something's gonna go wrong. There's a battery there, though. And uh, I need to figure out how to go down and get out of here, you know? This is a really uh, interesting room because these are the lovers. It gives me a bunch of hearts to use against him or, or on him, but I don't have any room for hearts. So that doesn't really matter because I, I just don't have the room for the hearts, so I can't really use it. So I'm just like, ah, and I go on my way with time. But the lovers are no good to me here because I don't, I don't have room to uh, pick up the hearts even if I did use them so it's a real shame because I would love to farm this guy for whatever item he has for me at this point I'm kind of like gosh I have a lot of bombs could really really hope for some more dark hearts uh, but we haven't gotten gotten any yet, so oh well. Got rid of those guys. Look at the split though. Again, I'm really just looking for any sort of soul hearts, anything to like. Like I, I'm, I'm being very, very, uh, very aware that I don't have a lot going for me right now. So. And I'm very concerned about this. I really wish I, I, I could get some soul hearts and then use the Jera on it, but it hasn't happened quite yet. There's one. Now, I go ahead and uh, I, th I think I try to blow up the rest in hopes for more. I think in my mind, if I get two, then that's a good enough you know use of, of Jera. Because then I'll have four extra hearts, but... It's looking more and more like in my mind that I'm going to be having to use, uh, having to use, uh, okay, uh, some of the, uh, I decided to statue here because I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want to lose anything extra. Go ahead and take him out. It's not a big deal. I have the auto turret. I have the little hushy. It's not a big deal. He's going to go down soon. His health is gradually going down and down. I know my turret guy doesn't shoot very far, but, uh, you know, look, look at this, so many of him. He's gonna be hitting my fly, he's almost dead now at this point. 
There he goes. And this is a really good item. I almost considered taking it, but I, I think to myself that perhaps... Um, perhaps... The Book of Shadows with the invincible, uh, Invincibility will save me more hearts than it's worth. Just a perhaps type of thing. I'm like paralysis. No, thank you. Let's fight this guy. It lives. So, I mean, I almost think in my mind, yeah, I use this. I take out a few of these eyes. I, I think I take out all the eyes. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm about to lose out on this. So let's just go full statue mode. Let's beat this guy. It's only going to be a matter of time. As long as I'm a statue, it's no big deal, right? That's right. So, uh, here we are experiencing what this is all about. A little hushy definitely helps me out right there. I'm like, whatever. I don't even want this. Whatever. Let me look up look up what that is right now. Uh, at the time, I, I did not look that up. But uh, uh, I knew that it, that was an item that I had no real interest in. Um, what is it? All right, this guy, I do the same thing. The soul converter, when used, converts two soul or black hearts into one red heart container. And to me, that wasn't worth it because, uh, I mean, it's a great item. It's a, it's a pretty wonderful item, really, if you're going for a more health-based run. But at this point, I'm just, like, not concerned about it. I'm, I'm strictly concerned. Uh, with not taking uh, taking like damage so it wasn't really like a thing that's worth it to me at least not to carry around clear out this room But who knows what would have been the better answer. I don't, I don't know. I just line it up. Take him out. There we go. I kind of free these guys. And so this is the point where I'm kind of realizing that knockback is kind of annoying. Uh, with the short range brimstone. Because I, I want them to be more damaged. But they keep getting knocked back. And so maybe maybe with brimstone. the little the, Well with the uh, little brimstone that has... Uh, that's available with Azazel to not take up the nails. I'm just looking for anything here. There we go. I should have used Jera. I don't know what I was thinking right there. I should have used Jera, but I, I just saw the two. I picked it up super quick, and I was like, ah, oh, man. I think even when playing, I kind of realized that this was not ideal. Well, here we go, guys. Delirium. Do you want to watch a, like, what? Like a, a seven-minute boss fight? Or do you want me to just kind of, like, edit it out? I don't know. Because what I do is I just go statue right here. And I just let him get hit by what I have to offer. Which is mostly my turret and also my little rotating meat boy guy. So let's edit this out. Just to spare you guys a little bit. You've seen Delirium fights before. Let's edit this out. Alright. Look at this. Boom. Got me. But look at that. We're ready. Here we go. Again, this is all post-commentary. But we did it. Azazel versus Delirium. Uh, I never expected this to be too hard. But it was actually harder than I thought. So, uh, we ended up doing it. And we have, uh, of course, unlocked a new item. The Dark Princess Crown has appeared in the basement. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye. 
I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.